The first step to renting property in Arizona is the creation of a lease agreement. This contract allows a landlord to rent property to a tenant in return for monthly payments. Now, it's important for the landlord to conduct a thorough background and credit check on prospective tenants. This isn't just a suggestion. It's standard procedure. The lessee is often informed within a week of approval. Hi everyone, I'm your host, Andrew Chung, and in this video, we're going to guide you through the Arizona Rental Lease Agreement for rental properties. So let's get started. There are key components that should be included in every Arizona residential lease agreement. First, there's rent. While there isn't a specific grace period for late payments on residential properties in Arizona, there is a five-day grace period for manufactured homes. The lessee is responsible for paying the rent on the date agreed upon by both parties and noted in the lease. The lease should also specify the amount of any potential late fees prior to the start of the lease. Now, there's no law specifying the amount of late fees for residential properties, but manufactured residents have a $5 per day cap. Next is the security deposit. In Arizona, landlords can only demand 1.5 months rent as a security deposit. Also, the landlord has 14 days after the lease expires to return the security deposit via first class mail. Property owners must offer an itemized list that details any deductions made from the money left over. If the tenant objects to any of the charges, they have 60 days from the date of the list to contest the whole assessment. There are also rules around the landlord's access to entry. In Arizona, landlords must give the tenant at least two days advance notice before entering the property. Those were just a few examples. Now for the full details, you can download a free form to help you with the process. You're also free to build your own rental agreement online, but remember, certain residential lease contracts need to include specific tools due to tenant laws. At DoorLoop, we offer a handy online tool that includes a quiz to help identify your needs for the lease. This tool generates a fully customized Arizona rental agreement, which you can use at any time. Click on the link in the description below. Now let's discuss mandatory disclosure. There are certain items that property owners must include in leases. For example, you need to provide the landlord's name and address, disclose the availability of the Arizona Residential Landlord and Tenant Act, provide a move-in checklist, and notify tenants about shared utilities arrangements, rent adjustments, and bed bug infestations. Other mandatory disclosures include pool enclosures, refundable or non-refundable fees, and lead-based paint for any property built before 1978. You can find the Arizona Residential Landlord and Tenant Act on the Arizona Department of Health's website. Now, let's talk about how DoorLoop makes it easier than ever to create and sign leases. With DoorLoop, it's easy to save reusable lease templates autofilling your new tenants' details into appropriate fields whenever needed. You can also find great tenants with DoorLoop as it syncs with websites like Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads, Apartments.com, and more to market your listings. DoorLoop even allows you to screen your prospects in seconds through an integration with TransUnion. DoorLoop can be an incredibly useful resource when it comes to managing the rental process for your Arizona residential unit. From customizing everything from an original lease agreement to eviction notices, we've got you covered. Well, that's it for this video. If you want more real estate content for your business, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more DoorLoop videos, such as the ultimate landlord tenant checklist for landlords with incoming tenants and how to write a complete lease termination letter. Remember to like this video, share it, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.